Hey guys, it's Maggie here. Welcome to our next Keeper Chat video. Today we're going to be talking about our Grevy Zebra. The Grevy Zebra is also known as the Imperial Zebra, and they are the largest of all zebra species. They can be found in Eastern Africa, and unlike most zebras, these guys actually tend to live in solitary groups. So they're going to live in about one to two, instead of a large herd, about 30 to 40 like their other cousins. Now, typically a male will keep a territory and a female will kind of migrate into that territory with her offspring. They can have anywhere um, about one to three offspring over the years. Now they'll have one at a time, but she'll keep up to about two or three until they're old enough to wander off on their own. Uh, and she'll wander through a male's territory. Now that male will try and keep that female there as long as he possibly can. So he has the breeding rights to her. So he's gonna make sure that his territory has the most food and the most water so that the female is very interested in staying. Now also what that male will do to keep that, uh, that female in his territory is he will actually protect the offspring of her even though it may not necessarily be his offspring. And that's to ensure that she's definitely going to want to hang out in his territory because he can not only provide food for her but he can provide safety for her and her offspring. Now their gestation can be anywhere between about 370 to 390 days, so a little over a year long. And they do produce one offspring, uh, they'll have one full, and they can produce that full anytime throughout the year, so there is no breeding season for the Grevy Zebra. So they can have babies all year long, uh, after that uh, about a year long gestation period. And that offspring will be nursing on mom until it's about six to seven months old, but will stay with mom until it's about three to four. Now, if it's a male, it will most likely be kicked off of that male's territory once it reaches maturity, about three to four years old. But a female will stay around because that will be a potential another breeding partner for that male. Now, just like zebras everyone thinks of, the first thing you think of is the stripes. Now, their stripe pattern is unique to them and to them alone. Like no two humans have the same fingerprints, no two zebras have the same stripes. Now the Grevy zebra striping is a little bit closer and more dense than typically other zebras that you would see. Uh, in comparison to our Grant zebras, which we'll see a little bit later on, they're going to have a little bit more widespread and thicker striping, whereas my Grevy zebras have a little bit thinner striping. Now their striping also does not go or completely around them, so you'll notice on their bellies they have lovely white bellies, as opposed to our Grant zebras, which you will see later on, have the striping around their stomachs. Now the Grevy zebra is the largest of all the zebra species and not only are they the tallest at about six to six and a half feet tall at the shoulder, but they've also got the biggest ears. And that's the allow them, uh, that allows them to hear predators coming off because they tend not to live in those large herds. They need to have the, the ability to pick off predators before they are picked off themselves. So having those large ears allows them to hear those predators. Now also those large ears allow them to keep them nice and cool. When they're out grazing in the hot African sun, they have a lot of blood vessels on the back side of their ear. So as they fan their ears around, the blood in those blood vessels get cooled down and go throughout the rest of their body. So it helps keep them nice and cool when it's very hot in Eastern Africa. Now everyone always wants to know, is a zebra black with white stripes or are they white with black stripes? If you were to actually shave down all of my zebras here at the zoo, you'll notice they have black skin, not white. So the color that's on the tip of their muzzle, that kind of charcoal gray color, that's actually the complete color of their skin underneath. Only their fur is that white color. So if you shave them down, you have a lovely gray or black horse. 